Hey guys, Nikita here and today we will create this brown uh, blender because a member of our community, so Steve Williams, posted and he asked how to create the shape and yeah, I also found it here on Pinterest, so just uh, type in like brown blender, you will find it. Yeah, so he asked how to create it and I really love that kind of shape and it's really interesting. Yeah, so I've modeled that already. And now I'm making a tutorial because yeah, there are definitely used some interesting surface and lofting techniques and yeah, it's not perfect. So maybe if you know how to create this um, piece here, then later you can tell me or, or even better join our Ultimate 3D community, get and give feedback. So let's start by creating a new scene. So first of all, you have to find two nice reference images, so just take one here so you have the front view and one here side view so just here brown multi quick nine it's called and let's go to the front view and import it the front view first so this here and i will just scale it up a little bit and then i press m to bring it to the front and make that a little bit transparent and also just press g and bring it a little bit more here to the middle and yeah, so this is fine. And what I like is just to bring it here to the background so it's not disturbing me. And then here go to the left view. And oh no, first of all, you we have, we will just create here this top uh, piece here because it will take already quite a while. And it won't be absolutely perfect, but I just wanted to show you again those techniques. So first of all, create a line just here from the top to this piece. So um, yeah, we know how much to scale the left piece um, reference image. So let's import that and you see definitely we have to make it bigger and also here with GG and also again M bring it to the front and make it much more transparent and GG and I want to bring it yeah somewhere here and I think that's fine. But again, it doesn't has to be super perfect. And yeah, maybe a little bit up and try to bring it a little bit more to the middle. So here you see this point from this line is touching here, this piece and also here, but maybe we can make it a little bit bigger. So something, so something like that is fine. And the same here, we will just bring it here to the side. Okay. And um, yeah, first of all, so we have to create the cage for this yeah main shape and I can delete this um, line here and I will just create a center circle and this center circle will have um, this this kind of radius and just press V so it's uh, yeah horizontal so something like that should be fine and also now I go to the right view and you see it's a little bit stretched so I just press S to make it a little bit longer and again it's just a tutorial so I won't do it like 100% perfect and what um, I found we have to bring it somewhere here and then press RR to rotate it and let's just bring it yeah somewhere here maybe make it a little bit smaller so let's go to the front view. Yeah, this is fine. And now shift D to duplicate and just bring it one more up. So yeah, so something like that. And we will love that in a second. And now we also have to create one circle here at the bottom. So create the circle here, the thickness or the radius press V. So it's horizontal. So it should be something like that. And I go again, go to left view and you see at the bottom it's just a circle. So we already have like something like this and now we have to connect this or create yeah, a lofting cage. So I press shift F for the, that curve here and I will just create approximately this shape here. So just go along this uh, shape. So that looks fine. And the same on the other side or we can just Alt X and press X. So it's going to the other side, but sometimes it's not touching. I don't know why here. So 
yeah, but I think it's touching. So left and right are symmetrical and that looks fine. And again, now we can go to the left view. First of all, I will dis uh, disable selection in the viewport. So I'm not selecting the plane. And yeah, here again, I'm not 100% sure how, but I found something that works. So again, just press Shift F. So you have that curve. And yeah, first of all, we have to create this shape here. So again, Shift F and yeah, something, something like that, but it's, it's fine for now. We will cut this then later. So really create just here this outer uh, um, shape. And also here, here I found it works if we create a shift A, a straight line and then shift F and create now this curvature. So yeah, just bring it, bring it here and Again, it's a tutorial, so spend just a little bit more time with that. But that's fine for me. So we have something like this and that's almost done. What we can already do is we can select, uh, oh no, let's, let's first of all join this curves here with J. And now we select all of this curves one by one, press L to loft and loop. And now shift click here, the circle on the top and on the bottom. And bam, we have something like that. And I like that a lot. And let's see if everything looks fine. But yeah, it looks fine for now. And now we can also select this curve and this curve and press L also to loft it. And now we don't really need those curves here anymore. So I just delete them. And now just object mode and select those, press J to join them. And now here patch holes to create a solid body. So that should work fine. And now I just select here this, um, yeah, this, this, this edge on the top. And I will just here create, yeah, just a simple fillet for now. So this is fine and perfect. So we can go to the left view. And we can start to create, yeah, here this rubber piece. So we will just cut it. Again, I would just use Shift F and with Control click. So we are not snapping anywhere. I will just try to recreate this shape here. Something like that. And now again, go to the left view and just adjust the curve a little bit. And yeah, guys, I'm not so super excited today because I'm a little bit sick or got a cold. I don't know what it's called. And yeah, so select this curve here, press C and select the body. So you cut into the body. We can delete this curve. So fine. We have something like that here. And I would like to extrude this here a little bit, but I couldn't figure out how. So maybe you know it because you see it's just going a little bit outwards. So yeah, because now I selected all of those faces and I want to drag it out, but it's just not working. So if you know the answer, let me know and just join our community. And um, yeah, maybe you can write it then here so everyone sees it. So yeah, but that's not the problem. So we go just to the edge mode and we will select those two edges here. Uh, let's select those two edges and give them here a little yeah, fillet or chamfer. So we have this kind of nice cut. So yeah, it's not exactly as in the reference, but that's fine. So maybe we can make it even a little bit bigger. Yeah, I like this a lot. So that looks fine. Let's go back to this view here. And again, let's go to the left view and now let's create here this shape. Uh, yeah, this uh, extrusion inwards here. So let's create a line and do something like that. And now shift F to create yeah this kind of curvature. So something like this. And now we can join that and now press O to give it 
a little offset and also here B and let's just give it yeah a nice bevel so now we can okay here also just give this edge here also a bevel and yeah maybe this one a bit too big but that's fine for now so we select those two here and press C and cut the body so we can select those two curves and select with the face mode and just bring that a little bit in let's see how far it goes here on the reference yeah it's just a little bit so maybe that's a little bit too strong so let's bring it outwards a little bit yeah so this is fine and now we can also give this a little nice fillet and also here on the inside let's give it a nice positive fillet oh no first of all we have to select all of those three bodies and QQ to union them because now if we fill it it yeah now it works perfect so that looks already pretty good okay here I see in the front it's not exact but then you just have to adjust the curve a little bit but that's okay for now because let's continue and again left view and now let's again shift F and just cut in this piece here so something like this right click and let's adjust it again a little bit so something like that and now again selected curve C and cut it in delete that curve so now we have those pieces here separate and again we can just press 2 select those two edges and give them a nice little fillet because yeah, here you see it's also kind of a cut and yeah now we have to create before we create this button here this piece here so it's going a little bit inwards and I could not find out exactly I, I think it's pretty easy the solution but I couldn't figure that out so again if you know please join our community and just comment under that image maybe have a screenshot or an explanation we would be very grateful for that but what I found works is if we create again shift F a new line and we go along this edge here so something like that for now so yeah, it doesn't has to be exact okay obviously you could just offset that curve that we've created before but okay that's that's okay for now so something like this and let's use this curve to cut this body so we can delete it and now I will just hide everything because it's conf confusing me and I can delete this little piece here and I select this face and shift X so now you see we have to create somehow um, yeah here this this yeah I don't know like this connection here and what I thought might work if we will create for example a line and yeah snap it at any point here and here and alt 1 to give it an extra point and we will drag it out so we have you see like a little curve and I thought so if alt click this edge so we create here a um, selection shift D and if we create here patch holes you see we click close this hole but I thought I don't know somehow it worked I can't remember and uh, guys I'm really cold and, and sick a little bit so sorry for my <laughs> <laughs> a little bit of a different mood today but I thought I can select now this curve here as a guide for the patch hole <clears throat> so again if you know that how to do that because I can remember somehow I could do that then please let me know but for now yeah, what I found works but it's really not the best way but um, again oh yeah so we have this hole here so we go to the front and I will just create here a line and with this line I will cut the body so we have something like this and now if I select all of those edges here and shift D to 
um, to separate them and press Alt J to unjoin this curve. What I found is if we create a line and click, um, yeah, snap it here and snap also here where we have the cuts. And if we both select them, those new curves and press Alt, press Alt 1 to subdivide it and select those points and press G to bring them a little bit out. Then we can use this edge and this edge and loft it and shift click those curves here. So we create, oh no, we should just bring them even, even a little bit more out. So we select those two points and just bring them outwards even, oh man, that child outside is <laughs> so screaming. So here and, and here we select those two edges L and shift click to loft it along this, uh, this guide. So that looks fine. And now what we can just do is we select those curves here and J to join them and now patch holes and oh, that even looks pretty good. <laughs> so we patch this hole. So the same here and this here and we join it and now patch holes and that looks really good. And so if we select edge mode and select all of them and just delete them and uh, yeah, we delete them and now we select all of those surfaces here or sheets and press J. Perfect. So we have one solid and oh wow, it worked. It did not work in the test before. But yeah, you see like a little tiny uh, yeah, an edge. So I think it's possible to make it even better. But guys, honestly, like <laughs> especially when you make then later the, the texture and all that stuff, you definitely won't see it. But it's exactly what I wanted. So cool. That's why I love doing tutorials because then <laughs> it somehow works and then I learn also a lot with you guys. So uh, old edge to bring everything back. And guys, I like that a lot. I like that really a lot. And yeah, let's create the, the button here. So I didn't create it before. So it will be just a little bit of freestyle, but I don't know. Guys, let me know if you like this kind of tutorials where, yeah, where it's just exploring with you a little bit together. And where it's not like, oh, I've tried that already 10 times. So I just give you the perfect solution. So what we are doing now is, um, yeah, like my thought process, how I would do that kind of stuff. Okay. So I think what I would do is go here to the front view. And first of all, is that the middle? No, it's not the middle. Okay. Anyway, so we will create here a circle. So Alt Z, so we know. And yeah, make it this size here and just bring it down. So we will create first of all this hole. So shift D and just bring it down. And now shift A and here 10 and 10. So here 3 fourth and snap it to where it's called 10 and 10. So now press T to trim that curve and now two to select all of those pieces here and press J. Okay. So this is fine for now. So we have this curve. Let's bring it a little bit outwards. And now let's just cut this body here. So, okay, that should work fine. And now we should be able to bring, yeah, this inside. So I think I like this. And now, um, let's select those two pieces and Q, Q and Boolean them back together. And now we select those two edges here and give them a nice little, little, little fillet. So, uh, no, let's, before we give them a fillet, we will do it a little bit different. Let's go here to the left view. And okay, let's try. So we will hide this and let's select this inside curve because it has already the curvature we need. So shift D and just J to join it. And okay, I'm not sure if this will work. So let's try just to see. Okay, so I have an idea. So what we can do is we take this curve here, shift D to duplicate it and just G to bring it outwards. And, um, 
Oh no, let's do it different. So we have this one curve, we will use it as a loft and let's create here this piece. So again, we will yeah, snap it here to the, to the center and let's make the circle a little bit uh, smaller. So G and let's bring it down here and shift D to duplicate it and let's bring it here. Am I in front view? Yes. And again, shift A for 10 and 10. So snap it here to the circle curve and again here 10 and 10. So now T for trim and now let's select all of those pieces here and J to connect them together and now again left view and let's bring it yeah here it can go outwards a little bit because we will just cut it then and so select this curve and this curve curve and yeah press l and you see it's yeah looking weird so let's select all of those curves here and just press here rebuild and make points and i don't know like just 200 points or something or we have to do it separately so here rebuild and let's make them, I don't know, 150 or something. And the same for this curve here. So 150. So it's the same. And now, yeah, now it's fine, you see. So yeah, sometimes when you want to loft something and you saw it didn't work because yeah, this shape <laughs> was completely different than this one here. What just works is what I just did, just rebuild the curve with the same amounts of points because when you loft it, you should get a nice loft. But I see it's still, <laughs> but guys, it's, I don't know if you like this kind of tutorial. It's really experimenting. Like I would spend much more time to find the per right solution, but it's, I don't know, it's just fun to explore with you. Okay, so we have something like this, but again, something is not working and honestly, Let's try something again, something different. So we go to the left view and we select this curve here and we just press S and we will make it straight. So we, we will just scale it here on this X axis and just bring here it to zero. So it's straight. And now let's just bring this piece uh, here. And now let's try to loft it. And yeah, now you see it's it's going straight. But let's, uh, guys, like I really feel <laughs> bad a little bit because it's definitely everything not the right way what I'm doing. But it's, I don't know, it's just fun to explore that with you. So, yeah, so something like that. But, yeah, so let's see the front view. Okay, let's maybe make this a little bit smaller and select those here. Okay, so this is fine just for now and I will delete this curve and now I will create a line and we will create this shape here. So it goes here, give it a nice juicy fillet and yeah, so something like this. See, cut this body, delete this piece and oh, we have something like this. So select this piece and and okay, before we will cut it, we have to close it, so select this piece and patch holes along edges. Again, left view, select this edge, C and cut this. So yeah, now we have something like this and now you can give it a nice fillet. Yeah, so I don't know, something like this and also give here a fillet. And yeah, so <laughs> oh, that doesn't look so super right but okay it's like I don't end this tutorial right now so yeah something like this maybe just bring that piece a little bit more in and yeah it should be just go a little bit more upwards but yeah no it's fine it's it's okay I guess so we have something like this and yeah yeah that button is really a little bit too big for my um, taste but okay that's fine <laughs> So let's give, give everything a fillet. So let's also give here this fillet. Okay, that works fine. Yeah, you, okay. So if that's not working as it should, I just select all of those edges one by one or manually because then mostly it works. Yeah, you see now, okay, it's not 
perfect because yeah, I think this operation is a little bit complex. Oh yeah, but here now, okay, this value is good. So this is fine. And okay, so let's create here this piece. And again, guys, <laughs> that's just an experimental tutorial. And I just, he, he just asked here for how to loft that main shape. So I am doing already all of those details that I didn't do before. So it's just experimenting with you and you see how I approach that kind of stuff. And cool. So we don't need this image here, but we need, yeah, this left image. So that should be also pretty easy. So we create the circle and yeah, we make the circle around about that. But before we do it, I will just select this face and just drag it inwards because we just need a little bit more of working space because then we can just cut this, everything what is below it away. So, okay, now we can just create a circle here and just bring it here. And I will just press Alt X and X to bring it to the other side, but maybe I will just, okay, it's because the perspective of the image is a little bit wrong, but I bring it here and Alt X and X. So it's like in the middle of this piece. Don't be confused about this line here. So uh, here again, create a line and snap it to 10 and 10. So now T to cut this pieces, press two to join them and now just O to offset them a little bit. So this is fine. And now just create here a corner rectangle, snap it to the middle, press tab and now just create something like this. And so let me bring everything just a little bit to the front so it's not so confusing. Okay, so we have something like that and I don't need the reference image anymore. So I will cut with T, everything here around. So yeah, something like this. And select everything, press, oh no, so select everything, press J, and now C to cut it. Perfect. And now we can just with Alt double click, I don't know, I can everything delete. I can delete this bottom piece here. And maybe one more thing, because you see it's going then a little bit extrude. So I will just go to this face and create a new circle here from the middle. And yeah, somewhere here. Now I will cut with this body, this body here. Now I can delete this curve here and I will just select all of those pieces and just extrude them. So this is fine because you see now we can again create the line and cut it here, press C and we will delete it and yeah, don't delete, uh, create like all of those details already taking too long, but we will give it here a fillet. And what we also can do now is just select uh, this, this face here and just extrude it a little bit outwards. And now select this faces here and extrude it a little bit because it's kind of a button and now just press alt on that face. So you create the loop and now you can just make it a little bit uh, smaller. So you have like a little, yeah, like here, a little uh, distance. And now we can basically fill it everything. So we will select this here and this here and give it a fillet. And also now I will select this piece and this piece and this piece QQ and now, yeah, maybe I will fast forward just to give everything a fillet. And guys, I know it's, oh no, it's, it looks like that. Okay. So I know again, guys, it's just a concept and a little tutorial to explain to one of my community members, but yeah, you get this point. So yeah, we have something like this. So let's have a look. And I liked it. And yeah, I hope you found that helpful. And if you want some courses where we go a little bit more in depth and a little bit more with preparation, check out the Gumroad link in the description. I have here already two courses and join here our ultimate 3D community for plasticity, cinema 4D, octane and all that stuff. So yeah, I hope I see you there and have a nice day. Bye.